we're going to take a brief detour and talk about correlation along the way to talking about the important concept of marginalization. So, marginalization is very important for Bayesian thinking, but it's also useful in general. When do we find the probability of one variable while ignoring another? Well, to find the probability of the relevant variable, we need to average out or marginalize the irrelevant variable. And there are two ways we can think about this. When we measure the probability of two qualities simultaneously, and we know their joint probabilities, or when we need to remove an unknown, like the hidden state, to find the marginal likelihood of a measurement. This was discussed in the intro relating to the sum rule and the multiplication rule. So, marginalizing or averaging. Assume fish come in two sizes, small and large, and two colors, silver and gold. To find the probability of getting only a goldfish or only a small fish, we need to average over or marginalize out the other variable. And there's conditioning. To find the probability of a measurement conditioned on the hidden state, we need to marginalize out the hidden state. So, marginalization, when we have two properties or two variables, if we want to find the probability of x, we sum over y to find the probability of x. If we want to find the probability of a measurement, we sum over the conditional probability of the measurement given the state times the probability of the state. Now, these are actually directly related by the following definition or axiom of conditional probability. That is the probability of x and y is equal to the probability of x given y times the probability of y. And we could say for the probability of a measurement and a state, it's equal to the probability of the measurement given the state times the probability of the state. So let's take the example of fish color and size. Here's a conditional probability distribution or a joint probability distribution. So the probability of x and y. We can see here that you have a 40% chance of getting a small silver fish or, for example, a 30% chance of getting a large golden fish you're going to play with these joint probabilities and discover how if you relate the two qualities, the color and the size, through correlation, which is a relationship between the underlying probability distributions, you'll see that when you change one distribution, say the color, you'll change the other if there's a positive correlation in the same direction. And if there's a negative correlation, you'll see them changing in the opposite direction. Now, we can also think about this for when we need to consider the marginal likelihood. Remember, we have our likelihood function, that is, the probability of catching a fish given the true state that's hidden to us of the world. In this case, let's say we're fishing on the right, so the probability of catching a fish is 50%. Now, if we know a prior probability, and this is kind of like basically infinite prior measurements. So here the prior probability of the state being left is 30%, and therefore the state being right is 70%. We can now think about the marginal likelihood of the measurement, and we're going to need this next. So in this case, the probability of a measurement is, let's say, the probability of the measurement being a fish. Well, we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to look at the probability of the fish given the state being left, the probability of seeing a fish given the state being right, times the probabilities of those states, and this will give me the probability of seeing a fish. 